where we are going to replace a seven and a half ton package unit, a four ton package unit, and a two ton package unit. And three guys, two foremen, and a lifetime helper are going to be expected to try to knock this out. All right, so we got flooded. And, um, Kind of hard to put in insulation when it's all wet, so we didn't bother with that. <clears throat> Good morning, YouTube. It is Friday, March 6th, and I'm headed to work. Who would have thunk it, right? But I'm not headed to Fayetteville. Well, I sort of am, but only to go through it. I'm headed to Charlotte area, as I understand. It's probably South Carolina rather than Charlotte, North Carolina, or I think it might be close to the border. I don't remember exactly where it is. I don't even have an address. But I'm meeting uh, Mr. Jeremy and Mr. Robert, and we're gonna go do a install um, down that direction. Should be interesting. Jeremy definitely has install experience, but he's also been, uh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't even bother giving him excuses. But anyway, Robert is not an installer. Jeremy is the general manager and my hands hurt so there's our excuses in a nutshell so anyway that's what we're doing today stay tuned and we'll see you in a bit so I just got an address for where I'm headed <coughs> and it from Fayetteville I've got hundred and fifty five miles so wish me luck I do have my staple, Red Bull, to try to keep my eyes open, and music on Pandora. So we should be able to keep ourselves awake for the drive. Estimated two hours and 50 minutes. Working 16 hours every day Ain't got no more sweat to give Oh, it ain't so easy these days Just trying to get on by Well, I pulled off here somewhere around 4, 485 Beltline to give Jeremy and Robert a chance to catch up. I had to pee too, so we're going to wait on them for a little bit. We're going to wait on them regardless of how long it takes. I guess they're going to show up here shortly. They were about 10 miles behind me whenever I told them where I was stopping. so. From here, we will head over to the job site, and we'll see you over there.
Robert and Jeremy were taking a route that I guess used to come around, but it's a dead end road now. So I'm going to follow my GPS and they're going to follow me and we should get there. I was a little concerned when my GPS told me to go a different route and they were going somewhere else, but they are supposed to know where they're going, so I followed them. But anyway, we should be there in about three to five minutes or so. They, they called a blizzard. Yeah, we got a dusting. And that's a... Your, your plan is you want to put that unit on that stand? Yeah. Do we? Whenever we cut that rascal loose, do we have we'll a, do that one of the first things. I'll, will will I'll we have enough here to do it? it? We should Dang. probably be able to if we take Slide it closer the to the house. house okay. yep, turn it up. Okay. Definitely get away from that dryer vent. That was my own. That was not my brightest uh, move. Yeah, These two right here are the brains. I'm the, I'm the uh, coon dog that's going to be working for them today. <laughs> oh, dang, I reckon. <laughs> Let's hope Asha don't come around here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that wouldn't meet the safety standards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Look at Caddy's pool, Bo. Come on, jump in. She's ready. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, no telling what you'll be swimming with. Yeah, we hadn't cleaned it up this winter, look, obviously. Look, look, look right there. That should be uh, fun. The windows are out. My thinking is, he built every bit of it. Caddy did. Didn't he build this house, Caddy? Yeah. Yeah, did you guys bring a piece of drain? Yep. All right. Three quarter, like you asked. We're going to need it. Okay. Mm. Drain pan going to work? Looks like it Drain should. pan should work fine. Do we have any kind of return plenum on there? Doesn't look like it. Nah, I just got a piece of metal. Is that one return to? Or is there two on it? It's a Y. A Y. Got a, got a return on the back porch here. 14 to 20. Some, uh, got some master tape. And then, yeah, uh, I left that sitting up there. Oh, I see what you Okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah. I Well, we got her done. Didn't get quite the video that I might have wanted to, and I made a fault report to show you. So, here you go. I'm gonna go grab some dinner and then head back towards North Carolina. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. I was headed back and I noticed it's the little van started running rough. I looked down and my engine temperature light or gauge was at hot. The weird thing is I don't have any smoke, I don't have any fans not working, I don't have anything that's not working under the hood that I can tell. My fluids are all good but it just decided to start running rough. It's almost like a sensor failed randomly rather than actually having a problem. Once you have sensors fail, obviously things can act stupid even if they're not broken. So I'm on the phone with roadside assistance to see if I can get some assistance here and we'll try to keep you updated as things progress. So we called roadside assistance. They said they were going to take an hour to get here just to drive us 30 minutes to a dealer. So what we're going to do, the truck is running in sort of a limp home mode to where performance is hampered, but it still runs and it 
is not actually overheating, so we're gonna try and blow it up. We're gonna get over to this dealership, drop it off, and then get a hotel close by, hopefully. Then uh, hit the service department first thing in the morning, see if uh, we can get it fixed, and drive back home tomorrow. So that's the story so far. Or as these things normally go, plans change along the way. So we're, like I said, we're gonna try to blow it up and we're gonna try to make it back to Fayetteville and just swap me out for a spare truck at the moment. See if we can get this one fixed. Worst case scenario, it blows up halfway to Fayetteville. Best case scenario, it only takes us four hours to get there. And uh, we get it fixed. So, as plans change again, I'm sure we will keep you updated. It is a quarter after 12, March 7th. I'm headed home shortly. Had to give the windshield a minute to defrost a little bit. This is a nice 2015 Transit Connect. It's a little different from the one I've been riding in. And I feel like I've got more room in the captain's chair. So that's nice. I'll have to move my stuff out of my other van into this van for Monday morning. But I think we're pretty much set to go for tonight. I'm going to hit the road. I'll be home at about 1.30 a.m. It's been a long day. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm. Cold, cold night